Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing to Ching number 39 is what I am on. So we're just going to get started where we left off, which was a Wreck-It Ralph toy. This was like, it looked like a little video game thing that you'd play in like an arcade, like it was shaped like those uh, video game arcade machines. And Eric and I purchased this um, on Walmart secret clearance for $5 and that sold for $25.99. I still am compiling um, just different clips of things I've been finding on Walmart secret clearance. So another one of those videos will be coming soon. I'm just trying to get enough of footage and clips of the things that I have been finding recently to make a video out of it. So if you enjoy those videos, there will be one coming soon. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely take a look at some of my Walmart secret clearance videos so you can get in on finding some things to possibly resell for yourself. So that was exciting <laughs> to sell something from Walmart Secret Clearance. And the next item was a swimsuit top. This was by a company called Courtney Jean. Uh, I started this on auction at a starting bid of $22.99 and it ended up selling at $23.49. Um, I would assume right now people are probably going to start looking for swimsuits since spring and summer and warmer weather is coming. Uh, so definitely if you have any swimsuits currently not listed, I would definitely think about getting them put up like pretty much right now. Uh, this brand in particular, this Courtney Jean, uh, is on the pricey side. So if you ever do see it out and about, I definitely think it's worth picking up. This was just a top. Um, and I did get this at a fill -a bag rummage sale. So, I mean, I pretty much spent like a dollar or less for it, um, all in all. So, and I didn't know about this brand until I found it and I just decided to look it up because I had no idea. I never heard of the brand before and that's how I found out. So sometimes, you know, if you are thrifting or whatever and you come across a brand that you just never heard before but it seems like really nice quality and it's just kind of interesting looking, definitely take the time to look it up and see, you know, what it's selling for and just even how much um, the brand itself retails for. So that's how I learned out about that brand. Next was a Brighton purse. This was in the style called Tippy. I absolutely love that. Um, anyway, again, I started this out as an auction starting price at $29.99 and it ended up selling for $51, which is really awesome. This um, specific Brighton purse in this specific style seemed to be selling well. Um, I know I have seen sold other Brighton items and you know didn't get near as much as I did on this purse so it just might be a more sought after style in general uh, but again this came from a fill -a bag rummage sale so I mean a dollar to two dollars at the most I really paid for that so that's why I love fill -a bag rummage sales you can really find a lot of good stuff and not pay a whole lot um, for the items. Next was a Bath & Body Works Toasted Hazelnut Wallflower. Um, these were just like the little bulbs that you put in the little wallflower uh, fragrance refills, basically. That sold for $25.99. The scent on that was definitely an older scent, not one you can really buy anymore in the store. Um, so definitely um, older Bath & Body Works scents whether that's in body sprays or air fresheners, um, definitely worth taking a look at. And that came from a yard sale and I can't imagine I paid more than a dollar for it. Next was a set of three Victoria's Secret body sprays. There was one perfume, I think two were in the Pure Seduction scent and the other one I think was a perfume called Luscious Kisses. Anyway, these belonged to me personally. They were in my collection of just fragrances and they were just ones that I didn't um, pick up anymore. I didn't really use anymore. Um, but they came from various yard sales so I probably paid like a quarter of 50 cents to a dollar um, for those and they sold for $17.99. Okay, what's next? We are at this one. 
Okay, in my last cha-ching, I had sold that big lot of Goosebumps books. And I think I had said in that cha-ching that I had one Goosebumps book um, that was just like a repeat of one that was in that lot. So I sold that one separately. I put it up separately. And that still sold. It sold for $4.99, which isn't like a ton of money, but I paid $5 for the whole lot of Goosebumps books. So really that one, you know, was a freebie all in all. Um, but definitely Goosebumps books seem to be selling really well. Obviously the more you have lotted up, the better I think that they'll do. Um, but you know, there's still the possibility as well that you might be able to sell them individually as well. Next was this, <laughs> this was just weird. It was a vintage Japan um, paint can. Uh, it has some sort of advertising on it. I don't really know what it, original um, use really was for it. I think I described it as a pen holder, a pencil holder. Um, it did have some like dividers in it and it was just cool. Um, it sold for $15.99 and I got it at a yard sale and I'm sure I didn't pay more than a dollar for it. So a quarter, 50 cents, or a dollar is typically what I pay for stuff at yard sales. Um, next was another set of those vintage Newport matches. I feel like these come up at every single one of my chichings here lately. Um, so those sold for $11.99 for a lot of two. And if you have never watched one of my chichings before and don't know the story behind these, Eric purchased like a whole box of them at a yard sale. And um, we've been lotting them together in sets of two and selling them that way. And they're doing, they're doing really well. Next was a vintage Paul Eshelman pottery mug. This one was a green one. It sold for $29.99. I had also sold a yellow one for $29.99 um, not that long ago. And the same person who bought the yellow one bought the green one. I do actually have two more that I need to list in, I think, I don't even know what my other colors are. I think it's like a green or a pinky red color and the other one I think is a blue a bluish color so it makes me wonder if they'll they'll buy those ones as well uh, next was an older hard candy eyeshadow I had this eyeshadow since I was like a teenager um, in high school <laughs> it sold for $11.99 it was part of my own personal collection I had never used it um, there's so many people out there who are looking for nostalgia related items, not even necessarily all the time to use for themselves, but just to have and look at again, stuff that they had when they were younger. I'm the same way and I went nostalgia shopping myself just last evening. <laughs> I, um, there was this specific, um, vintage little girl's avon perfume that i had when i was a little girl it was called lalac oh i can't even remember now i i bid on it though i shouldn't say that because someone might go and outbid me on it um but it was called lalac something anyway i had this when i was a little girl and i just had the most overwhelming just urge and desire to smell this perfume again and like, I seriously think, like, if I were to smell it again, I'd probably just cry. <laughs> um, so I'm, like, desperately trying to win that auction because I want to smell this perfume again. Like, I'm not going to wear it, obviously, but I just want to smell it. I want it just to smell. So anyway, um, you know, people like buying nostalgia stuff, whether it's toys or stuffed animals or, you know, perfume or just anything that just you know brings back some sort of memory for them um you know they'll buy it so for me it's this Avon Lilac <laughs> perfume uh okay so next was that Doodal sleep aid I had hauled this in one of my more recent Goodwill hauls I paid $1.99 for it and it sold for $29.99 they seem to be selling retail on Amazon for around 50 so I think I priced that well. I didn't pay much for it, and I still made a really decent profit, so I was excited about that. Next was a Swan Soapstone Trinket Box that sold for $15.99. 
um, probably got that at a yard sale. <laughs> so I'd say a dollar or less for that. It was really pretty. I'm just a sucker for trinket boxes. It's hard for me not to pick them up. Next was a vintage Avon purple cameo style necklace that sold for $11.99. And this actually came in that flat of jewelry um, that I had won at the auction that had the Tiffany and Company jewelry in as well. So I obviously made my money back on that plus so much more off of the Tiffany jewelry. I think I so I think I literally sold almost everything in that box of jewelry. It's kind of crazy. Um, you know, I wanted it just for the Tiffany pieces, but you know, I figured I'd still list obviously this other stuff that it came with and I was just really surprised that all of it all of it um has sold except for I think there was two bracelets and I think like a necklace and earring set that hasn't sold yet but it's pretty good that most of it went uh next was a Longaberger uh cat's meow little wooden piece I paid 50 cents for this at a thrift store and it sold for five dollars and 99 cents so not a whole lot um I still have some like cat's meow pieces that I, I need to list. I have a bunch of the Longa Burger. I had listed them all up on auction, uh, but this was the only one that actually sold. So I relisted all the ones that didn't sell as buy it nows. Um, okay, next was that uh, vintage baby book that I recently got at um, Goodwill for $1.99. This was new. It had never been used or written in. That sold for $29.99. I sold that Coach Pink Wallet I recently also got at Goodwill. I do believe I paid $6.99 for the wallet and it sold for $39.99. Um, I really liked that wallet but unfortunately it just didn't match anything that I really carry so I decided to sell it. Um, just as a little bit of a spoiler alert, and I may post this on my Instagram since I feel like it's been a while since I posted anything on my Instagram, but um, I recently went to Goodwill and I found a really nice coach bag there for $15. So you'll see that in an upcoming um, Goodwill haul video. Okay, the next three things were purchased by a subscriber. So they purchased a... Um, Chocolate and Orange Yves Rocher Shower Gel for $12.99. This is a scent that you can't purchase anymore. It smelled so good. It smelled like one of those chocolate oranges you can get at Christmas time. Uh, she also purchased an Avon Bird of Paradise perfume that was shaped like a purse. I remember Eric picked that up at a church yard sale at one point. And then she also purchased that Betsy Johnson purse that I recently also got at Goodwill. And that was sold for $39.99. So I hope she loved everything that she purchased. Um, it's just so exciting when I see little notes um, from you guys also as well um i got some of these really cute hello kitty thank you notes last time i was at goodwill that you'll see in one of my upcoming videos um because i like like when you guys let me know that you're a subscriber if you purchase something and like leave a little note i like to write out the little handwritten thank you cards and sometimes I don't know, um, not everyone tells me, like I'll see like when I get a feedback or something. So, but if you let me know ahead of time, I always try to write out a little note for you guys. Um, so that brings me to the next thing, which was also purchased by a subscriber. And this was a little trinket tray. Trinket trays, trinket boxes, I like them all. This was by um, Primitives by Kathy, and this was also purchased by a subscriber. And that sold for $12.99. All right, this next item was a lot of vintage Land Before Time hand puppets. You guys remember these. Um, who were they put out by? Uh, I think it was Pizza Hut uh, back in the day. Pizza Hut always did the hand puppets. Like, I remember Beauty and the Beast hand puppets. Um, I remember Eureka's Castle hand puppets. The Land Before Time hand puppets. Alf hand puppets. 
who was there anyone else I can't remember anyway I had a couple of these these did not belong to me these belonged to my aunt they sold for $38 and I know I have mentioned in the past um, of things that I've sold for my aunt um, it's kind of like a commission thing it's really awesome like she gives me things uh, to sell of just things pretty much that belong to my cousins when they were younger and they're in her house and she just wants to get rid of them and you know she's looking to retire soon so she wants the space back she wants um, a little bit of money obviously and so what happens is like when I sell something for her like obviously take out shipping and take out fees and everything like that and then what's left we split 50 50 so it's really nice that I'm able to give her money for stuff I'm helping her she's really appreciative of it and I get something out of it as well um I know I had sold something for my neighbor lady and I think I had someone ask if she ever did give me anything for um selling something for her and she did not um but I kind of was not really thinking that she would anyway because uh, the item in question, the Trump, it was a Trump Monopoly game, uh, didn't actually belong to her. It was her mother's. So, you know, I, I was kind of a little more understanding since it wasn't really her money to give to me kind of thing. Um, but <laughs> Eric pretty much told her because I have a hard time like telling people things um, that, you know, if I do sell anything for her again, we're gonna have to um, charge <laughs> for it because you know it's not only my time and my shipping supplies and everything else that I'm using but you know to not get anything for that it's like why am I doing this type of thing um, but he, he told her that was a freebie <laughs> so she understands and she she doesn't get like mad about stuff you know what I mean so it's cool it's cool so you know if, if she does give me anything else, I will get a little bit uh, for it. Uh, next was a Winx Club ornament. Um, Eric actually picked this up, which I didn't know um, what it was at the time because I couldn't really read what it said on it. Um, but if you ever find anything by uh, this Winx Club, they were dolls, like fairy dolls. They sell for a lot of money. Um, I'm assuming these probably came out in the early 2000s. Anyway, this one was a Christmas ornament. We paid $1 for it, and it sold for $29.99. Um, Netflix just recently came out with a series um, based off of these Winx fairies, I guess. I want to watch it. I haven't watched it yet, um, but I think that kind of helped to... To sell this not just because it was Wings Club but because Netflix um, came out with a series based on it so I do have another one that I need to list though next was a Barbie styling stable toy this was from bleh, I feel like I'm lisping here I need a drink that's my problem I've come prepared that and I'm drinking coffee too so that don't help This was from 2001. It was brand new, still sealed, never opened. I found this at Goodwill a while back. I don't know who was pricing things that day, but I only paid, I think, $1.99 for this brand new Barbie playset from 2001 for $1.99. It sold for $78.99, so that's awesome. Uh, next was a purse by a company called Balzano. Um, this purse here, I didn't pay anything for. On my other YouTube channel, the company actually sent me a purse, one of their purses, to do a review on. So I ended up selling it. It was a really nice purse, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't something that I would ever reach for to carry. So I never used it. So I did end up selling that um, for $39.99. Next was a men's Woolrich shirt. The style was called Navajo Blanket. If you ever find just clothing pieces with these like Aztec kind of Southwestern style prints on, they seem to do really well. I mean, this probably helped too that it was a Woolrich shirt, but that sold for $24.99. 
I sold this tin grease tray for $9.99. I can't remember where I got this specifically. I'm sure it was a yard sale. I mean, maybe I even got it on a curb alert. I, I don't remember. It sold for $9.99. Uh, next thing was a bottle of Estee Lauder Sensuous Perfume. Again, sold for $9.99. There wasn't like a ton left in here. I got this in a fill -a bag rummage sale. So $0.25, cents, $0.50 cents, um, overall. Probably paid for it. I didn't take up much space in my bag either, which is nice. Same with this next item, came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. It was a Harley Davidson black leather wallet that sold for $19.99. I sold a Lakota pottery vase for $39.99. I got this at Goodwill. I probably paid about $3.99 or $4.99 for it. Very nice and it came with like its little paper and stuff like that inside. And the last thing I have for this cha-ching was a coach wristlet. This went to a subscriber. It sold for $13.99. So I was so excited about this. In my last, what was it? It wasn't my last cha-ching. It was just my last, I think, Goodwill haul video because I had purchased a coach wristlet. And I was saying in that video that like, how wristlets are hit or miss like some I can sell right away and some just sit forever and this wristlet in particular was like sitting forever and you know it had so many watchers but no one was buying it and so she ended up buying it so that's awesome I like even when Eric had seen it he's like didn't we get that a long time ago I was like yes and no one was buying it I still don't know why he thinks and I wasn't even thinking about this um he said when he looked at the picture, he thought it was like really small, like this tiny little thing that would have like fit on like a keychain or something basically. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Like people may be thinking it's just like this little miniature uh, keychain purse when it was actually like probably about this round of a wristlet. And I said I probably should have when I took a picture had it on like my mannequin's hand like hanging from her hand to kind of give a better idea of the the size of it because i think maybe that played a part in it just not selling um so he had brought up a very good point <laughs> in that regard but that is everything for this chiching um typically at the end of the chichings i like to talk about any kind of problems that have arisen or just things that have been happening lately and I honestly don't have anything to report. Um, I feel like I think last time in my last Cha-Ching I was saying that like shipping times were a little on the rough side again but I think they're straightening out. Um, I don't really see many things sitting for very long until they're on to their next destination. Um, so yeah, I, I really don't have anything to talk about. Nothing is really happening. Um, I've just, I've been overall very happy with this month's sales. I think that, um, it's definitely been one of my better months. Those Tiffany pieces kind of really helped <laughs> bump those numbers up, but, um, overall I'm really excited about that. Um, I was just over at my aunt's at my aunt and uncle's house uh, last week and she gave me some more stuff to sell which I do have um, a lot of it listed but I still have more things that I need to list and it's mainly vintage toys. I have tossed around the idea of just doing like a haul of the things that she gives me to sell. Um, I don't know if anyone would be interested in seeing that. I know, you know, there's some people who are like around my age who like love 80s nostalgia and stuff like that. So I didn't know if like that was something that maybe you guys would enjoy seeing, just like the stuff basically, just to, you know, look at it again kind of thing. But um, I didn't with this last haul of stuff that she gave me. But if I do get some more stuff and you guys would maybe want to see... Um, a video of that I can do it uh, but other than that nothing nothing much going on so I hope everything's going okay um, in your neck of the woods as far as you know reselling goes if you also resale 
uh, or resell, I should say. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.